Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we are working on a PTAC unit. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. This is a through the wall PTAC unit. I have already troubleshooted the system and when I connect this wire to this board we are popping the breaker so this board has a short in it somewhere we have all these wires different controls in here relays capacitors and my only option at this moment is to actually rewire this whole panel because i can't get this board right now and i really want to get this unit going so I have a thermostat here, some wire nuts, solderless connectors, some contactors, relays, thermostat wire. And we do have a transformer right here. I'm gonna reuse that. I'm gonna reuse the capacitors in here. And basically the idea is to get this evaporator fan motor running, our compressor and our condenser fan motor through our thermostat when we call for cooling and really rewire this whole thing. Honestly, it's a bit crazy, but I'm gonna gut all this out and I'm just gonna rewire this my own way. And this is kind of just like a test, but I have faith that I'm gonna get this going. All right, so we're gonna start by really gutting all this out, taking out everything that's not gonna be used and clearing up our space. All right, so here goes nothing. So I just want to keep like my fan motor wires and everything like that as long as possible. But really everything is going to get gutted out here. All right, so got most of this out. Transformer's gonna stay. This capacitor I'm gonna keep wired as is. That's for the evaporator fan motor. This capacitor stays. This is for the compressor. And this capacitor is gonna stay because this is for our condenser fan motor. Also, we have a low pressure control. It's gonna stay for some safety. And that's about it. All right, so this seems to be the best design. Basically, this would close like this. And then we have this cover. That will close this all up. It's best to use the same setup same enclosure just make the wires a little long so when we troubleshoot you know we could like pull it out and do what we can it's gonna take a little bit of engineering to see where we're gonna fit all these controls rewire everything and let's see what comes out of this all right so I mounted a contactor 
this contactor is going to work the compressor and the condenser fan. So we have two wires from the compressor, all right, connected at the top of the contactor, which is our common and run. And then we have the start connected to the capacitor as it was. All right, this goes in here, all right? All right, so making some progress. Here's for the condenser fan and compressor. And this relay is going to be for our evaporator fan. Made some extensions so you could pull this out. The capacitors were already pre-wired. I got the high side of our transformer connected to line and I'm gonna put line voltage here. This is the low side of our transformer and I'm uh, we're moving it along. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. All right. This is it. Here's our transformer. Our two capacitors. One for the condenser fan motor. One for the evaporator fan motor. This relay controls the evaporator fan motor. This contactor uh, controls the compressor and the condenser fan motor. This capacitor is for our compressor this is our low pressure switch that's just the last thing i'm going to connect but right now i just want to see if this works i'm going to be wiring that after we're going to run that through our y wire we're going to break this circuit if it trips on low it's going to open y and that's going to shut off our compressor and let's see what happens i'm going to switch this so I'm going to see if our fan starts. All right, it starts, but we do have a buzzing relay. Yeah, it's quieting down. The relay I'd probably replace because nobody wants to hear that. It has a little bit of a buzz. does work. Let's put the system on cool. That's going to start our condenser fan motor and our compressor. All right. The compressor is working. Everything is working. The system's running in a vacuum though. This has a leak. You're gonna see the pressure rise back up. I knew it was low, but I just wanted to see if it would start. So electrically, we got this unit going. This is absolutely amazing. So I guess it's just touch-ups from here. We're gonna install this low pressure control. And we're going to search for a leak, but I'm gonna do it in a different video. This one, I just really wanted to get this going. We got rid of all these controls, all these wires. It really was a crazy job, but honestly, this is awesome. So you are able to close the panel back up. And here is the main cover that you would actually be able to put back. So everything is gonna look like it was previously. And this was absolutely amazing. We will be searching for a leak and finding a leak. I only have pressure on one side as this is a 410A system and it's only recommended that you install a bullet piercing valve on the low side for 410A systems. This will be installed later on as well. It's gonna be in a different video, but as you saw, we were able to get this going by changing out all the controls. The evaporator fan motor is still good, the compressor is still good, and the condenser fan motor is still good. And with those things, you got air conditioning. So if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.